instead of learning the hard way, wouldn't you like to learn from someone else's mistakes? Like, how about from a company that lost thousands in Facebook ads? Or another that says its website is its Achilles heel. That's right. Our pros have agreed to play along for your benefit. Our marketing connections experts join us to share some of the biggest mistakes they've made and what to do instead. Guys, I'm so excited for this segment. I'm here with Seth. <laughs> I'm here with Seth Getz of Symposia Labs, Paul Schmidt from Unodus Multimedia, and Jesse Flores of Super Web Pros. Thanks for agreeing to play along, guys. Oh, of course. Anytime, Julie. All right, Paul, guys, we're talking biggest mistakes. Seth, I'm going to start with you. What is one blunder that you see businesses make most often? You know, when it comes to marketing, I see them make the mistake of creating a message that they like and then trying to give that message to the broad world and trying to get everyone to see their message because they're so in love with their message. They're like, this is the best message ever. I just want everyone to see it. And when you try to appeal to everybody, you end up appealing to nobody. And so they constantly look at it and say, I love this message. I want everyone to see it. Instead of saying, what does the market what does my target market need to see? What is it that they need to have communicated to them? And how do I get this in front of that small target market? Especially sometimes if that messaging is so inside baseball that the only people who understand it are the people who created it. I know yes. we never see that around here. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Paul, you run a very talented video production team. You've got great guys on your team, ladies, yet you've mentioned in conversation that your Achilles heel has been your website. Tell us why. Oh, I don't even know where to start. I mean, technology has been part of my life forever. But one thing that I've always stumbled on is the website, learning how to do it well and you know, it's been one of those consistent situations where I've never really been happy um, with it over, you know, over the time that I've had it and, and things I've tried to do marketing wise, just I haven't been comfortable with. And it's always been a challenge, especially around the SEO. Uh, I know that that's a big thing with these guys here aside. So I have a little bit of help and a little bit of, uh, you know, uh, cheerleaders here in that regard. But I've never been able to wrap my head around it. It's just not one of those wires that I have that's, <laughs> that works for me. I can figure out a lot of things, but for some reason that has always been a stumbling, stumbling block, as well as the fact that I'm not a writer and coming up with the content that sounds great and looks great and just really expresses who I am. And, and you know, I am a storyteller, but visual, um, so writing has always been another aspect to it. And that's a huge part of SEO and a huge part of the website. And so those are the things that I've always had struggles with um, going forward and trying to make that all work. I'm beginning to see why we make a great group of friends and <laughs> colleagues here on this panel. Um, Paul, it totally makes sense. We need to know our strengths and weaknesses, right? So I think it's such a, a, a good thing for you to recognize where your team is talented and where you need to pull in outside experts for help. Jesse, what is the biggest mistake that you've made in your marketing? Oh, so many. Uh, so many. I, honestly, I feel like if I'm not making mistakes, I'm not trying hard enough. I, that's that's kind of my general rule. That's probably a good rule for life. Um, but you know, I think uh, one of the biggest mistakes I've made to, to kind of piggyback off of what Paul was talking about with search engine optimization is um, forgetting that while content production is important, content promotion is probably as, if not maybe even a little bit more important. And this is one of the areas where I know I've certainly struggled. Um, we joke about how I'm the only marketing person that I know anyways that is not actively on social media. Uh, I don't particularly uh, enjoy uh, you know, content promotion or self-promotion. That's probably been one of the things that I've had to learn the hard way or find help to, to, to do uh, because it's not, it's not something I'm strong at. Um, and it's been by far our biggest, our biggest weakness. I think the second one would be though unfocused ad spend. You know, I made the comment, the joke a little bit ago that if I'm not making a mistake, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm not growing. But the reality is, is that it's only, it can only grow if you've got a way to learn from it. 
And one of the biggest mistakes I've made in the past is being like, all right, I've got this thing. I want to promote it. I'm going to promote it. And I just start throwing things out there and I don't have a disciplined testing structure. And so I've radically changed all of our promotion, all of our advertising. It is extremely disciplined now. We know exactly what we're testing, what, you know, what we're looking to get from that test, how to know what the pass fail metrics are. And as a result, have been able to not just make a lot of mistakes and, and you know, lose a lot of money, but actually do it uh, moving things forward. And so it starts to turn into an investment. And then finally, um, it's thinking the internet can do more than it can. The reality is the internet can help scale things, but there has to be something to scale. If you don't have a good service or you don't have a good value proposition or you don't have a good uh, customer base to begin with, probably the internet's not the right place to start. And so, uh, yeah, those are the things that I think I've, I've learned and, and certainly spent a lot of time, money, blood, sweat, and tears learning. Great insights there, Jesse. And I think it also emphasizes the importance of kind of building your business community, um, having experts like those on this panel to turn to. It's why we've put together an entire page of resources for you. Uh, Paul, Jesse, Seth, thank you so much for sharing your insights. To see more Absolutely. from our marketing experts, head to WLAJ.com slash expert connections and click the link for marketing connections.